This video is in response to somebody who saw one of my other videos on tapping and uh, was a little bit curious on how to do it. So you can definitely sit outside to do this. You could sit under a beautiful tree. I'm sure the lighting looks kind of cool because there's probably shadows and lights. You don't have to do a topless, but it does help feel uh, the breeze on your skin. Okay, so the tapping, there's many websites now. Uh, emotional freedom techniques is the main type of tapping, but some people have bio tapping or, or uh, all these other things. But I'll just share with you my experiences with the tapping and uh, hopefully it can help you. Okay, so the tapping, a, a huge part is the expression of your own truth. And the tapping, it's almost an excuse for the mind to stay present. Uh, in yoga, any sort of tapping or rocking or jostling or like pounding, it can be very grounding. Just being in our body, connecting with the earth or with the earth element in our body. So we do the tapping. It's not so important, the points. They say that there's potent acupuncture points, and I don't, I haven't studied acupuncture, so maybe there is some theory behind it, and it does matter the points you press, but I've found my heart's open and I've resolved some issues, uh, even without having knowledge of the exact points. So you just go through the tapping, and I'll, I'll show you the points here. You could just follow along. And then on the outside of each finger, or the inside. Okay, so that's the basic routine. And the idea is, uh, actually something that might be helpful that helped me, which I didn't do in the beginning, is set a timer. For example, two, three, five minutes, and make a commitment to, to not stop the tapping until that time is up. And to not stop expressing your truth and to tap on the issue uh, until the time is up. When I first started this, I would do the tapping, but then unconsciously, I would stop and avoid it and think that it was resolved or whatever. And, and, um, but I noticed when I would set a timer and do it for a certain amount of time, it was amazing. I got so many more results. And um, what else? With the tapping, sometimes it's subtle. You might cry. There might be an energy release that you could consciously feel, but you might do the tapping and then maybe even a few hours, a few days, a week later, you'll notice like, wow, I feel lighter. <laughs> I feel happier, you know? Uh, so that's kind of a cool thing. And you don't have to know the reason why uh, uh, you're having a feeling or know what the cause is or psychology. The idea is that there is intelligence in our body beyond anything we could imagine. Uh, and that our subconscious is our body, or our body is our subconscious, and that any intuition can come through our body. So, okay, so, some practical things. Um, I'll just give you an example, uh, a personal example. I had to, um, oh, sometimes my love was conditional. So the phrase would be, even though, even though my love is conditional, sometimes I deeply and completely love and accept myself now. Even though sometimes my love is conditional, I deeply and completely love and accept myself now. And then you would go through the points and you would say the feeling. Conditional love, conditional love, conditional love. And maybe as you're doing the tapping, you'll notice what comes up. For example, if I'm tapping on conditional love and I notice that there's frustration, I would tap on that. Even though I'm frustrated with this conditional love, I accept myself now this frustration, this frustration. And I would suggest really just be intuitive, trust yourself as far as the phrases. It doesn't have to just be a negative phrase. You don't have to just get rid of the negative emotion. Uh, a big part of it is this is cultivating positive emotions. So there's kind of two approaches, but it's the same idea. You're letting the energy move, whether it's removing blockages or you're increasing flow. Uh, often you get the same result. So you could tap on like I did in the previous video, I, you could tap on an intention. And you're tapping that intention into your energy body. Um, let's see, what else? Don't do it while you're driving. <laughs> At least that's what they say. I do it often, even if I'm riding my bike. I don't close my eyes, though, for, for some visualizations you could close your eyes. Don't do that if you're riding your bike or driving. Um, yeah, so that's the main thing. Set a timer, a few minutes, 
just do it. Don't worry if it's perfect or not perfect or right or wrong. Just do, do the tapping and uh, trust your intuition. Make up your own affirmations. It has to be meaningful. If you use dialogue inside of your own head, such as, uh, even though I think I'm a dirty dish rag, you know, or if you think you're a dirty dish rag, don't say, even though I'm critical of myself. You want to use the exact words that you think in so that the uh, expression can kind of dissipate the energy. Um, so those are a few suggestions. I hope it helps. And uh, thanks for your support on this vlog.